how to create a custom Gmail signature with clickable links. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can actually create a custom Gmail signature in a very simple way with clickable links. So let's get into it. Now I will be using Canva for this. You can use any other tool. I like Canva simply because of the design elements. It's nothing special. Other than that, you can pretty much do this on any other software that you're using already. So to get started, I'm going to build this in two sections. So I'm going to click on upload and you can upload your own profile picture. I'm going to click on custom size because I just don't really need all of you know my own photos. I'm going to be using sample ones, but for you guys, you should be using your own photos. I'm going to create a 800 by 400 canvas. So it's 800 by 400 pixels, or if you were to convert this into inches, it's eight by four. You can click on create new design over here. And this will create like a simple little banner. Now, what you want to do is you want to create only the linkable, like the half section. So on the left side of any business card, like you would see the picture or the logo. And on the right side, you would see the uh, business details. So what you want to do is you just want to add the business details like this over here. You can choose to keep this in one section. It's up to you. But if you want to create multiple different clickables, I don't like to do this. So I just like to... I uh, do this and let's say it's going to be dead and incorporated and I'm just going to place all of these over here. I've just used a template, but you can enter any information that you want. You have your website. So let's say I want to do link my own website so I can open my own website and I'm going to enter the URL of that. I'm just going to log on and I have this website over here that I want to be a clickable link in my email signature. I'm just going to copy this and I will add it in my Canva URL. So extend it and you can add, you know, map locations, anything you want. But this is just an example. So I want people to be able to click on this in the email signature and get to my link. Now, this is like one section and I'm just going to click on share, click on download and download this as a PNG. You want to create another uh, 400 by, you know, a 4 by 4 section, you could say. And I'm just going to open this up. And once you have this, you want to go into your design and you can search for profile and you can take a image of yourself just like this. And then you can go into your element section and you can search for any social media icons that you want to link. I just want to link Instagram. So I will just take this Instagram icon over here and place it right below. Now, you can obviously choose the style however you want. I'm keeping it simplistic. If you want a different style, you can definitely opt for a different style. That's totally up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can go into your element section. There are quite a lot of amazing elements out there, honestly. So I definitely do recommend, you know, adding a little bit of a design element. You can just search for lines. And you can go into the graphic section. You have a couple of nice little simple decorative lines that can help you make it look a lot, you know, appealing. So you can enter something like this just to, you know, improve the design of your signature. So because this is a signature, let's say I want to add a little bit of a design element. I'm going to search for stroke and I'm just going to use this. And I'm just going to take this item over here like so and just to make it cohesive i'm going to copy and paste this background kind of image onto the back of my profile as well and for over here i'm going to increase the transparency like so and once i've done that i'm just going to click on download and i will just download both of these images over here now, once you have downloaded your images, you are now ready to get started with formatting this and creating your little clickable signature. So now you want to open up Google Docs. You can do this uh, in, directly in Gmail as well, but it can be a little difficult. So you want to go into Google Docs and you want to click on insert and insert a table. Just insert a two by one table. That is it. And then you want to resize it a little just so for your own ease. Now you just want to go into your downloads and upload the images that you just downloaded. So I'm going to place this one over here and you're going to upload the other one like so. So now I have this amazing little setup and I have everything listed and this would 
and you know this is like the perfect little signature that i have now to uh, add my clickable links you are just going to take the icons so uh you, what you want to do is go back into your little section and just take the instrument like whatever you want to make clickable so i have this icon over here i'm just going to delete all the other stuff take this icon you can resize it if you want and download this from canva and i would like to do the same for like my website link so i'm going to remove all other items just download this and now i'm going to go back into my doc and i will just upload the instagram icon and obviously it's going to be super large don't worry about that you can resize it and you know you can place it down below or you know however you want to arrange it you can do that that is totally up to you so if I don't want it in my initial image, I can choose that. I'm going to uh, just place it where I want it. Or let's say I just want people to access my Instagram directly by clicking on my profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the profile image. And I once I have clicked on the image, you can see on the top you have multiple different options. So you will have this option on the top left which says insert link. Now from here, I will copy my Instagram link, copy this. And then I will paste it on over here, click on apply. And then you're going to do the same. So let's say if someone clicks on this section, I want them to go to my website. So I will just click on over here and I will paste the link of my WordPress website like so apply. Now, once I've done that, I'm going, I like to change the lines You can click on your lines and you can just convert them to white to make your signature feel more seamless into the email. I'm going to select all the lines and make them white like so i've made all of our lines white and once you've done that you can simply go into your gmail now once you are in your gmail you want to click on settings on the top right then click on see all settings once you've clicked on see all settings you want to scroll down and you will find this signature section over here it's almost at the end it says signature you'll click on create new and what you want to do is now go into Google, uh, into your Google Doc and just copy this entire thing. Just select the entire thing, do Command C and go into your Gmail now and just paste it. And now you guys can see if someone clicks on it, people will go to that specific link and you have an amazing signature created for your Google account. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.